thinking about the, the very nature of what we have to offer here at Sunrise Ranch and as emissaries of divine light. It has to do with an experience of selfhood that's transcendent, that is universal. We clearly, all of us, have a localized sense of self. If we find someone who doesn't, we get worried. If they don't have some self-awareness, some self-care, self-preservation, all those things, yes, we have a localized sense of self. For a baby and a child, it starts out quite localized, does it not? Hungry. <laughs> and what, what the immediate surrounds, mom, come, food. And we can feel the transcendence still shining through them. And yet the immediate concern is local. And the concerns grow through childhood. It's larger in ad adolescence. There's a reaching out. Oh, my God, there's other people here. And how do I relate to them? What do I have to share with them? Emerging into adulthood the capacities grow. And so a young adult is learning how to use those capacities in some way that's centered on self, no? Like my life, my capacities, my education, my training, my experience, my journey. At least that's my memory of all that for me and my observation of just how it goes in a human life. And we might think about what it would ideally be under some ideal circumstances. Uh, we have the circumstances we have with the culture that we live in. And the prevailing attitudes and approaches of our culture, the prevailing ways of experiencing self. So all of that is transpiring in the context of the culture in which we live. At some point... Do you not feel that it is right that a human being emerges to an experience of self that doesn't lose track of the local, but is also aware of what we might simply call the universal? Increasingly, yeah, I experience selfhood in me, but then there's the adventure in life of finding the selfhood of another person. And the more that happens, more things open up so that there's something beyond the local, the universal, something that holographically gets replicated through all people. Till we come to a point where we might truly say that if I know you, I know me. If I know me, I know you. If I know me, I know us. I know all of us. If I know me, I know humankind. And if I know humankind, I know me. And if I know me, I have to know the angels of heaven. The reality of being that transcends even us as humankind here on earth that includes however you want to think of it, the angels of heaven, the ancestors, those who are not incarnate, recognizing that we are not the only beings in the universe here incarnate as humankind on earth. My sense of self is universal. I realize I am part of a self that is expressing itself all over. Does that deny the locality of where I am, the local self? No, it doesn't. But it changes my experience of myself, how I relate to this person through whom I express and manifest who I am. There comes a, a penetrating of 
that outer capacity with something transcendent so that who I am as a human being is serving something vast and glorious, something huge. It also means that I inherit powers to reach out to other people because I'm not reaching out across some chasm, some abyss to someone totally different than me. Yes, I glory in the ways that we are different. Unique beings uniquely manifesting. And yet I also know something that is universal to us all. And I know that as I embrace that expression, as it comes out in me, I'm at the same time celebrating that in you.